TV, TV in prison. Were there TV shows in prison that everybody were like, oh, it's fucking Thursday night. Such and such is coming on. That's what every TV is going to be on. That's what this TV is definitely going to be on. My, This is my chair, and I've sat it here. You, you, not only can you not sit in my chair, but you, by, you can't sit in the spot where my chair sits. Was it like that? Before um, Larry goes, I want to make a prediction. The TV show Prison Break, based on the time he was in. Was it popular? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that fucking show. It was I was <laughs> in from 96 to 2007, so I don't know what Prison Break was. I watched one and reviewed one series on my channel. You know, there's some bullshit. I, I couldn't even get into season two. The guy gets out of prison. It's not prison break anymore. He's got a map on his body. <laughs> oh, they go back to prison. Yeah, he's got a map on his body, some bullshit like that. But no, the show we watched, and we used to bet on it and actually have pools on it, was Survivor. Oh. Ooh, I got into that recently. And we would go, like, out, like, now, you say we. Our group. Then you had black TV rooms, Hispanic TV room, white TV room, and general sports rooms, what they usually have. Mm -hmm. yep. So that's in, in the prison system. And the TV show, I mean, you do. Also, I, a lot of people, even I did, used to watch The Wire, if you remember The Wire. Oh, mm -hmm. The Wire is tremendous. You guys had HBO? Whatever that was on there, I don't know where it came out. We had wire. <laughs> Why were you watching The Sopranos? We, 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 we did not have TVs. A bit. We had four TVs, and when the guard said lockdown, you're fucked. You know what I mean? And they put them on what they want, technically, but we kind of try to maneuver that to get what we want. Yeah, yeah. And they know. We used to get to watch all sports, uh, like the Super Bowl, all the way to the end, even if it's lockdown. NBA Finals, every game, they wouldn't lock the prison. Most prisons are locked down at 10 o'clock. They'll mm -hmm. let you stay out. You know, out, out into the, out the, you know, to watch the game. Everybody yeah. wants to watch the game, to watch the game. They'll do that for every major sport baseball, basketball, even hockey. So they'll, they'll do that across the board, every prison I was in. Obviously, they don't have to do fucking shit. <laughs> and mm -hmm. all they do is say, for the safe and orderly running of the institution, you know, that's how they work that. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know. So that is exactly how the prison system works. Were there any, uh, big fights or arguments over bets on survivor are you kidding me uh stabbings uh fucking one guy got beat with a lock that was going that was the biggest thing we used to put money up and, and pick a guy you know and it was fucking you know i mean we'd gather in a fucking tv room you'd see guys argue with during that fucking thing when they kicked the guy off or whatever <laughs> yeah. the, 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 what they call that like, used to, tribal, yeah, council. tribal council tribal council <laughs> yeah yeah definitely yeah. tribal council and fucking, you'd see fucking two guys get up and start fighting. I mean, fucking, fucking blow out, fucking hit somebody with a fucking, it, and we fucking, <laughs> went. the next day we're all laughing. Somebody's in hole or nobody got caught. And we fucking <laughs> laughed. So we, we did like that. That was just survival, man. It was a fucking great fucking show. So it was hot. That would be intense survivor watching. You're like, God damn it. If Rudy survives this episode, I got to like go stand by a guard. Like, yeah. like you have to <laughs> take care of yourself. You know, like, you, you know, we we it's fun. You know, I still to this day, I think they should make a Survivor episode. You know, not no, not Survivor. Naked and afraid. You know, the naked and afraid thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put two convicts on that fucking island. <laughs> Put a female felon, ex-con, and me, or uh, you know, one of you, yeah, you know, a, a mm -hmm. felon, young felon. Put them on that fucking naked island. I'll bet those motherfuckers will walk through 21 days like it's fucking a joke. <laughs> you think so? They fucking, I was in prison for, I was in the hole for three years. Wow. Three fucking years in the fucking mm. hole. 11 straight months. I look at Survivor and say, I'll sleep for fucking 21 fucking days if that's what the fucking days. You know, it, it's, they don't, I mean, we had it where the roaches are going in your ears, Atlanta. So you used to have to put tissue paper in your ear. Otherwise, roaches will get in your ear and get there and get fucked up. And we had the rats fucking coming under the place. So, I mean, we had all that shit. It wasn't you got like, rapists. There's not rapists in the world. Even woods. worse. You know, worse than a rat. Well, there it, might be. If you guys haven't seen in the last, last month, USP Atlanta Penitentiary is on Senate investigation as a threat to the southeast region of the United States of America. Not to Atlanta. Not to Georgia. To the southeast, they left doors open. There's, there's a whole, just Google it. 
take you two seconds. Fucking, they, they did this whole fucking, I did this video on it because they still have the rats. They let cats, they left the door open so cats can go in and get all the rats that are in there. Stray cats. They let people fucking leave. They fucking disabled the cameras. The guards did this. Disabled the cameras. The guards were bringing in so much dope that they fucking uh, uh, disabled the fucking drug sniffing equipment in the prison. It's all in this fucking audit. I'm like, holy shit, I was there for Jesus. fucking years. I'm on the fucking, I told you, my notary to fame. One of my fans said, you're on the same page as Al Capone. So it's fucking... <laughs> We're laughing so fucking hard. I'm watching this fucking thing about these fucking all about Atlanta. And they go, they said 33% of the guards are corrupt. Goodbye. I mean, like, just think if you three, one of you are corrupt. <laughs> yeah, one of it. us is earning off of a corrupt prison system. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got stock, you fuck. When, when no, you uh, saw the 33%, were you like, eh, it's higher than that? Well, you know, really, it, it, it that that didn't shock me. What, what, and even the guards bringing in money. We, I was in there when we had a guard that, we, that he was making. The guard was bringing in dope every week to this one cell. The one inmate was a Latin king. He was making ten thousand a month in prison in dope in dope dealing. In and that's in my time. So now that's you know you're talking about nineteen ninety. Uh, it was ninety eight, ninety eight, mm. and uh, so. 98, he's making 10 grand a month in prison. He was a killer, too. It's crazy. Motherfucker.